A double OT thriller, another weekend of history for the women's soccer team. And field hockey takes one giant step closer to an Atlantic 10 tournament berth. It's all next on a brand new Explorer Sports Report right now. We're back for a revamped edition of ESR, brought to you this week by our friends over at the LaSalle Alumni Association, a proud supporter of the LaSalle Athletic Department. What a weekend it was for the Explorers as the fall sports continue to make their postseason push. We start off in the pool as the men's and women's swim and dive team started off their regular season with a meet against city rival Villanova. We begin in the pool where the swim and dive team open their regular season schedule at home on Friday evening with a meet against city rival Villanova. The squad split their season opener with the women faltering and the men winning by a score of 181 to 118. Just when you thought the men's soccer team would struggle this season after a rough start in their non-conference schedule, well, think again. Pat Farrell and his boys are on a roll after another unbeaten weekend in conference play. LaSalle is now 8-0-4 in their last 12 Atlantic 10 matches. The winning reached a fever pitch on Sunday when Cameron Teal erased a 2-0 Explorer deficit against St. Louis in just 24 seconds with a pair of goals. And then in double OT, Jason Plumoff secured a winner off a direct kick, giving LaSalle a 3-2 golden goal victory. Huge. We, um, we came into the game knowing like how much we really wanted them and how much we needed it. And then in the beginning of the game, as you guys could see, was not what we planned at all. And then um, we just pulled through. We just pulled through, and um, and stuff opened up for me. Opportunities opened up for me, and I prayed and prayed, and then. Got it, so it went good. Uh, yeah, this went huge. Uh, right now, I think uh, we're first in the attempt. Charlotte fell to uh, Fordham. So it's even bigger. We pulled it through, down to nothing, fought the whole time. Rough first half, but when we pulled together as a team, halftime talk, we just got our heads up and we just kept playing our game. And it finally fell through, and two goals came out of nowhere. Yeah, we've played well in the A10 all year, but we're, we're not consistent. You know, at, at halftime, we were just talking about trying to play 15 good minutes. You know, uh, St. Louis was uh, up to nothing had played very well and, uh, and were tired off of the Charlotte game Friday night. But for the guys to come back and do that, to, to sit up front, uh, you know, uh, six games uh, into the A-10 with three left, I mean, and that's big. We just have to continue doing what we've been doing and fighting and battling and staying in games and, uh, and hopefully we can make our way to the St. Louis uh, for the playoffs. The women's soccer team also continued their remarkable unbeaten streak, which now stands at 16 straight games after two victories over the weekend at Charlotte and St. Louis. Freshman Kelsey Haycook was the hero on Friday night with both goals against the 49ers in a 2-1 victory and was named Atlantic 10 Rookie of the Week for the third time this season on Monday. Yeah, I mean, she's a different level. Um, and, and to be fair, too, she didn't really even have her legs today, you know. Um, but she's an opportunist. She gets in those areas and creates chances. And you know, obviously, it was, it was huge clutch, clutch performance today. In Sunday's 4-0 romp over St. Louis, Haycook scored again with the other goals coming from Renee Washington and senior Kirsten Maybe for Maybe. Two was her lucky number on Sunday as she scored the second LaSalle goal to help celebrate her 22nd birthday. Turn the big 22 today, did you think waking up like my birthday present would be scoring a goal? No, I just feel old right now. That's about it. <laughs> Over to field hockey where head coach Michelle Marks and her squad took one giant step closer to an Atlantic 10 tournament berth on Sunday, defeating city rival St. Joseph's 2-1 to one on senior day. Today's win set us up very nicely for A-10 play. Um, along with our win against Lockhaven, this will really prepare us to get into a good seat for the playoffs in the first week. It was really important for us to win this game that just so we can have a shot to even get And once we start with this win, and hopefully we 
work off of that and just get two more and then it's a sure thing. So hopefully we can get in there and no one will take us lightly. I think LaSalle has always been our field hockey family and we've always been really close throughout the years. Um, we started out originally with a bigger class and ended up with these three girls, but we couldn't be close to friends, so it's been a great four years here at LaSalle. I couldn't have asked for a better senior day outcome. It was really great coming out with a win today and reflecting on the past four years with Haney and Fry at my side. It was great. Um, just coming out even before warm up, um, we were in our meeting room. There's support from the rest of our teammates and supporting us in our senior year, our senior game. And they knew how important it was to us individually. And with all the craziness swirling around LaSalle sports over the past few days and with more busy times ahead, we've decided to change the GoExplorers.tv lineup over the next couple of weeks to help give fans more comprehensive coverage of their favorite fall teams. First of all, we will continue to bring you ESR once a week, but it'll be more geared towards recapping what happened over the weekend like we did here on this week's show, and it will be released every Tuesday, so be on the lookout for that. Then on Wednesdays, we will unveil a new segment called Beyond the Explorers, hosted by our own Sean Egan, that will debut tomorrow on Wednesday with coverage of Bill Raftery Open Practice that took place last week. And then to cap things off on Thursdays, we will have our regularly scheduled journey that will recap the women's soccer team as they continue to make their push towards the Atlantic 10 and maybe even the NCAA tournament. So get your popcorn ready because over the next couple of weeks, things will be fun here at 20th and Oni. Until next time on the Explore Sports Report, I'm Jared Smith.